into what is pretty extreme conditions. What can you get out of this session? Oh, we can get a lot out of it. <laughs> yeah, we can. Um, so, yeah, we've got some, yeah, a lot of areas of our game we need to work on and, yeah, they're relevant of what we're going to play in this weekend. We can get a lot out of training. Have you had to restructure your, your planning for, for the, the sessions because of what the, the conditions are out there at all? No. Nah. No, just embrace the conditions. They, they present a different, obst a bit of a different obst obstacle and some different challenges, but we can still prepare the way we want to prepare. Given that you're not in the best of form at the moment, does, does something different almost help the mindset a little bit that refocuses it? Is <laughs> no, no, probably not. No, I don't know whether we all like getting out there and, yeah, cyclonic conditions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just em we'll embrace the conditions. Um, but we've been trying to change up a few things with with, the, with our prep. Um, but on the on the flip side, players <clears throat> are creatures of habit. They like routine and consistency as well. So we just need to make sure um, we're realistic with where our form's at. Um, you know, four weeks ago we beat St Kilda at Marvel. Um, we're nine points up three weeks ago <clears throat> against uh, in the last quarter against Sydney. Um, we drew at Marvel against Richmond, who have trumped that f uh, form pretty well on the weekend, coming from 40 points down. Um, and we played a poor game on the weekend. So um, we're not in the form we'd like to be, but we just need to make sure we're, we're um, balanced with the way we frame up where we're at um, and what we need to improve on, and our players are really clear on that. Right. Okay. Are your challenges like tactical, is it personnel, is it something within the players themselves? Oh, it's a bit of everything. Um, yeah, we, we've probably got some players who have had interrupted years um, that aren't in the form they were in early in the year um, and executing their roles as, um, as effectively as they were um, in the year. Um, yeah, we were clearly not getting the ball in our front half and, and holding it there as much as we were early in the year. So we probably just, yeah, lost our edge a little bit as well with the, the way we play. I think we're a much harder team to play against early in the year. So um, we need to get back to being the hunter and um, yeah, it's a good opportunity for that this weekend. I know you probably don't like to give too much away, but how do you do that? Um, yeah, I, it comes back to like handling the basics of the game pretty much. Um, so we'll realign some of our role play this week um, get back to doing the basics really well. I thought Melbourne were really good at the basics, or a lot better than us at the basics on the weekend. And it's amazing how um, that, that area of the game can uh, lead to field position. So, um, yeah, attention to detail and tidying up the little things will, will go a long way to um, what we need to do. Are you looking to swing the axe at the selection table or anything like that? Uh, I won't give selection away, but no, um, probably not really my style, I don't, I don't think. Um, I think there's some, I think players grow confidence out of getting backed in um, and, and not being on the edge all the time, but we need to find the balance between rewarding performances at Peel as well. So um, yeah, we'll make some changes, but I don't think we'll wield the axe. Your confidence level, like a lot of your forwards especially look a bit devoid of confidence, but you talked before about your form isn't as bad as what it may appear. How yeah. much are you trying to glass half full people so that they feel more comfortable about the way they're performing and, and might be able to get back into the Yeah, game. it's it's finding a balance with individuals and as a team and um, making sure that individuals um, have a real clear, um, a real clarity around their role and what they need to improve on in their role and um, as a team we set the team up with some real clear, well some real clear focuses and, and clarity and consistency around what we need to improve on. Um, and what it looks like when we play our best footy. So, yeah, you're always trying to find a balance with that. We need, we need, to, we need to find an urgency. There's no doubt about it. Um, we're getting to the pointy end of the season. Um, so we need to find an urgency with it. But, uh, yeah, simplicity is the key when um, players have got their minds clogged with other things. Is stability, um, is stability important for you at this pointy end of the season? Um, eh, not really. No, no, it's not, not a big thing for me. Like, um, I probably contradict myself with that a little bit, but it's not really something that comes to mind. Stability, like um, we just need to find the the right balance within our team um, that allows us to defend, score, and, and compete well in the contest. And um, yeah, if that means making a few changes. We'll we'll, we'll make a few changes, but 
Um, the other thing that's important to recognise is it's a big step up from um, waffle level to AFL level, and it usually takes players a, a couple of weeks to find their feet and step up to the grade. So, you know, that's another factor. And, um, you know, there's not much um, of a hotter um, cauldron than Western Bulldogs at Eddie had or Marvel. So um, they play a, a slick brand of footy. So we'll need to be, um, yeah, we'll need to be ready. Is someone like Darcy Tucker someone that's playing their feet after he had a sensational game on the weekend, I feel? Yeah, well, we're looking at players that um, have put a body of work together. Um, you know, it's, I think we get caught up at times in you know, one game and the statistics of one game. But I think Darcy, for instance, put three almost best on grounds together. And um, not only has he, he done that, he's um, worked away at a few things in his game that um, he needed to work on. So, yeah, he'll be one that comes under consideration. Sam Sturt as well. How closely will you be watching him this week? Uh, yeah, oh, he, had, he had a really good game on the weekend. Um, I thought his intensity was at a level that um, we expect and um, have been looking for for a long time. So whether it's his go this week um, or not, um, if he keeps on playing the way he played on the weekend, he'll get his opportunity. And um, how much do you think the playing for Dave factor will come into? Do you think that's something you can draw on every week from now on? Uh, oh, it's got to have an effect. Oh, it's, got to, it's got to be front of mind for our players. And um, yeah, he's um, you know, close to the end and we need to make sure that we put all our own personal issues and um, indifferences, I suppose, to the, to one side and see if we can try and help him achieve what he wants to achieve in his last handful of games. So, yeah, hopefully our, our players have reflected on that and understand the significance of his decision and can, um, yeah, glean some motivation out of it. And his decision did come as a, a bit of a shock to some people. Uh, I guess as shocking as it can be for a 37-year-old retiring. Obviously, you would have been a part of those discussions. Was it surprising at all to you when he flooded the idea with you? Oh, yeah, it's always comes with a little bit of a shock because you know Dave's been you know, going around again for you know probably the last seven or eight years. He's been on one-year deals and he's found out late in the year whether um, you know he's going to get a deal and, and that type of thing. So, yeah, it always yeah it's a little bit of shock in it. Um, but you know, me and Dave talk regularly and um, yeah. I've, yeah, shock probably wasn't the right word, but you know, I support his decision. Um, he's ready to move on to the next phase of his life, and um, yeah, like I said before, we need to make sure we um, send him out in the right way. And on the other end, um, you've got uh, Jai, who re-signed uh, yesterday. He's one of a, a large group of young players who have um, signed on uh, this year. How, how I guess exciting is that for you to have these young talents locked in for you know quite a long time? Yeah, yeah it's tremendous for the club. You know, Jai is someone we obviously valued before the draft and um, very excited to have him on our list. Um, and we feel like he's going to be a massive part of our future along with Chappie and Youngie and all the other young players that see a uh, really strong future at our club. So, um, yeah, I'm pumped for, for Jai and um, yeah, he's equally as pumped to be shown um, the contract and yeah, took it up with both hands. So it's a great result for everyone. Ted, before you want to talk about selection, but obviously haven't been spoken about very heavily yep. since the game. Can you, are you in a position to say in, out, or maybe? Uh, no, no, but um, yeah, I'll just say it again. Oh, we need Tabs back to his best. And um, yeah, we're not, we haven't got a lot of goal kickers on our list that can kick multiple goals um, and, and, and bags of goals. So um, Tabs is one of those guys. And um, you know, I understand everyone's frustration and the fact that they, they're seeing his form at the moment, but um, yeah, we'll decide later today whether that, that he needs to work on his game at waffle level or AFL level. But um, yeah, yeah, we haven't made a decision yet. And um, you, you mentioned that you, you like to have your players have a body of work in the waffle before making their way into the team. Is that something that'll come in consideration with, with Fife? He's on track for around 23? Yeah. Yeah, in some degrees. Uh, it depends how many weeks he misses. Uh, you know, if it's if it's two or three three weeks, well then, you know, we can probably rely on his his body of work over the journey and the the four or five games he got out. So we'll we'll cross that bridge when it comes. What's your immediate thoughts on the Bulldogs? Um, yeah, they're probably just a little bit inconsistent at the moment, a bit like us to some degree. Um, their best is very good. You know, they play a high energy 
brand, uh, contested brand of footy, and um, they're going to challenge us in a lot of different ways. So, um, yeah, we think there's some opportunities there, but we need to make sure we we match them in the contest and and get the get our get our basics and hunt right. Um, yeah, it's a game I'm excited about.